we do have a little bit of a longer week, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some guys in there and we can uh, have the best group we can. Zach Williams has kind of been a rock though, uh, walking around, looks like he's a more extended injury there. Yeah, it's muscle, but it doesn't mean it's not serious. So Zach's a really tough guy and he assured me he heals fast. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Also did see though Kyle Saxel who's been around since the start of camp. I think this is his first full practice. Is he anywhere close? Or? Yeah, I mean he uh, he's a good teammate, and uh, so we, we we put him on. We'll sign him to the PR with the idea that if he's ready and we need him, play. But the only way I can get him to play, I think he's healthy enough. But you know, when you've been away for this long, you have to practice. You got to show that you can do it. Have some consistency there, and I uh, uh, feel like he got better today. Probably had a few sore. Movements, that's what happens uh, when you're kind of back going more full speed. Uh, looking back at the last game, is it one of those games where you just file in the garbage and say, you know what, the circumstances were what they were? Yeah, probably best to not look back anymore. That was a game we need to wash and flush. We did learn from it, and, and now what do we? how do we respond? We will see. But, um, yeah, I've, I've probably no reason to look back because it just wasn't us. Uh, Kobe Williams uh, has been a... Uh, a a consistent guy. How, do, how would you explain? Uh, every, there's been turmoil all around him. Uh, things, guys have been changing uh, positions. He's been in that one spot the whole time. Yeah, and he was the guy though that was the the guy that did all the other spots in the past. He's he's played he's played everything really. Probably not as much corner, but he's played Sam and both halfbacks. And yeah, I think he's doing some good things. And I think he he himself will tell you it wasn't his best game either uh, this past game. So that whole group. Uh, uh, I don't think Toronto throws like 40, 50 times a game, but they're going to take their shots. They got big receivers. They got speed. They got physicality. Uh, we'll have to be uh, at our best to stop them. Dave, what do you think about uh, Ben Labrosse and the job he's done for you? Is, is he who you thought he was? Yeah, he he didn't practice today. Either. He's got some ankle soreness. Um, I feel like he's improving, and I, I like what I see. I, would I like to see him in and out there every every day, every game? Uh, I think he can be a starter and was last game and. I thought he played well. Um, I wouldn't say that there's the same thing. There's certainly rookie things that uh, just communication, when to blitz, when not to blitz, timing, those type of things. But he's a guy we want to build with. We just got to now get him healthy. Clark Barnes is a late scratch uh, because of an issue there. How do you sense he's bouncing back there? thought he had a pretty good day. Um, for Clark, is going to be, you know, physically, uh, he can run, he can catch, and do all those things. Now we got to make sure uh, he's in a good enough spot to, to take the physical part of the game and block and get tackled and do, do those type of things. So those are tough things to test. We'll, we'll work it out and get the best roster we can. Is it strange slash weird to game plan against Kadeem? No, no. I mean, we have Toronto with a lot of ex-players on there. Um, yeah, it's kind of been that way for a while, but he's running the ball well, and he, he is uh, – He's a guy that uh, I'm sure circled this game, um, and he'll play hard, and we know what we'll get. Uh, good player. Um, our guy's playing well as well. Uh, it'll be a good matchup. How do you how do you rely on your veterans when you look at the preparedness for this game? How do we rely on it? Well, I mean, we worked hard today. Let's work hard tomorrow. Let's get better to, in every practice. Let's use practice to, to get better at our craft and, and uh, feel confident in our eyes, feel confident our body's going to do what we need it to do and take it to the game. That's what the veterans need to do.